may be wondering, what is depression? Depression is persistent feelings of sadness and hopelessness with the loss of interest in activities that you once enjoyed. Depression can also present with physical symptoms, such as chronic pain or digestive issues. But to be diagnosed with depression, the symptoms have to occur at least two weeks or more. In a given year, one in 15 adults will be diagnosed with some type of depressive disorder. That's roughly about 7% of the world's population. Some of the most common signs and symptoms of depression occur in two different ways. You have ways that you feel and you have ways that you may behave. How you feel may be down, upset, tearful. You may be restless, easily agitated. You may feel empty, numb. You may feel a sense of hopelessness, like nothing will ever get better. You may even sometimes feel suicidal. How you might behave? You might behave by isolating yourself, not participating socially or with your family, not engaging in activities that once brought you a lot of joy. You may lose interest in reading, walking. You may not want to go to work. You may even feel like getting out of bed every day is a giant chore. Your next question may be, well, what do I do about it? So here are some common tips for dealing with depression. First and foremost, the biggest thing with depression is you always want to stay in touch. Reach out to family, friends, distract yourself, get support from the people that you love. Next, you probably want to do things that make you feel good. That could look like it re-engaging in those activities or finding something new to get excited about. Go for a walk even. It doesn't have to be a long walk. It can be something as short as 10 minutes to get some fresh air and forget about the things that are plaguing you, okay? Try to relax. Yoga is a great mechanism for relaxing and stress relief. The other thing that can help is a lot of times with depression comes negative thoughts. Beating up on yourself happens a lot when you are depressed. One of the things that we recommend and we teach is learning how to challenge those thoughts that you're having. Your feelings are not facts. Challenging your thoughts can often look like asking yourself, how do I know that's true? How do I know that this is not my feelings taking over? What are the facts of the situation? Dealing with depression is tough, and sometimes you need help to deal with that depression. If you ever feel like you or somebody else is in need of help, never hesitate to reach out to a doctor, a clinician like myself, or even come on in to the behavioral health service team.